Okay, guys and girls, the Albino's new pad, their new digs, are just all but finished. I say all but finished because uh, the only thing it's lacking is the coyote wire that goes around the bottom of it. That's right, I said coyote wire. And the coyote wire is in there. You can see that's the, that's the pin that they're in right now. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take you on a little walk around and show you just exactly what we've done for, for them. And uh, I will not put them in this enclosure until until the, uh, the, the coyote wire is in there. And the coyote wire, let me show you what the coyote wire is. Can you see down on the bottom of that pin there, if you look on the, over here, on, on this one right over here, you'll see down there some wire down, coming out away from that about a foot. Can you see it? You just barely see it right there. That, that's wire that's coming out on. That's to keep a coyote from being able to dig underneath that fence. Cannot dig underneath that fence. Now, if you look over here, the new one, now we've got some gravel right down there. We'll have something under there. But you see there's no coyote wire. There's no coyote wire on the bottom of that right there. And uh, so what we'll do is we'll go around this entire enclosure and we'll come in here and put about a foot of soil wire. You can see that wire right down there on the bottom right there. About a foot of soil wire on that bottom that comes out, eh, probably a couple foot, that comes out away from the fence. That keeps the coyotes, they cannot dig under it. They can start to dig under that fence and they can't do it because that wire stops them. And uh, because definitely the last thing you want to have happen, last thing you want to have happen is a, is a coyote getting inside of your pen. So let's just go in right here. Let's just go in right here at this latch. And let me walk around the pen and I'll show you exactly what they have. And uh, we'll get the deer in here next week. Okay, this gate that I've just come through right here is a gate in between building number one and building number two. Uh, and this gate is simply where we can uh, come in there off there and, and drive four wheelers down in, into the uh, pins if we want. It's a pretty good sized pin. And uh, we've got four buildings here, one, two, three, and four. So we've got four there. You can't really see quite all of them. But what we're going to do is take a walk around the pin and show you just exactly what we've done here. <clears throat> this old tree right here is one of the favorite trees of the kids. You can see it's almost going parallel to the ground. Comes up and goes up like that. It'll eventually fall. Hope it doesn't fall on a, uh, what's gonna happen, it's gonna bust out there from that, that deal down there, but that may be years where that happens, but may not be, we'll have to repair that fence when it does. But if we start and walk down here, you'll see this is the old enclosure right here. It's simply the, that building, <clears throat> that building that comes over on this side and goes around there. It's a decent size, decent size enclosure, and uh, it was okay for a couple of deer, but now that we've got four, it's really not big enough, and uh, we want to be able to uh, we want to be able to give them lots of room to move around. That pin's got a lot of shade in it, but look at here when we start walking around. Here's what happens when we start walking around here. We're going to walk down here here to the end to the end of this to the end of this uh, to the end of this this uh, the current enclosure. And you can see now we come back in here and we got lots and lots and lots of trees, lots of trees. We come over here to that gate. That gate leads out of that pen. And all we'll need to do to let Prince Charming, Snow White, and Casper and Ice out is simply open that, let them come down into their new pad down here, the new digs. But here's the deal. This is a big pen. See what happens right here? We start walking. We're going to walk all the way down to this corner. We go all the way down to the corner. And I think it's a over a hundred feet down here. Pretty good walk down here. All the way down. Now this is pretty bare just because we have not been having much rain and we got quite a few deer on it. I don't know why that thing's moving around on me so much. Got it just set up on a tripod here. But we'll move all the way down to this corner. All the way down to the corner and we come into this gate down here. And this is a gate where again, we can uh, bring a four-wheeler uh, in here easy into this pen for whatever we may need to. We've got a couple of big gates on here, but this is another just a small gate down here. Uh, and uh, this is down, and you turn around. We're going to turn around and look back, and you see just how far, how far we are. We're on the corner, and you can look clear back up here to that building. So that's pretty good size right there. Now we're going to take off, and we're going to walk down to the midway point where we've got the pen, a cross fence in it. Okay, let's start our little walk down there just to show you how far it is because it's a pretty good ways. <clears throat> These pins are actually larger than the pins where we've got all the other deer, I believe. Uh, I just made a pretty good sized pin right here. And we made a really, really good pin. If you'll notice, we've got 
paddle, uh, cattle paneling on the bottom of it, narrow, narrow spread cattle paneling. And we've got regular hog wire up on top. So we've got a really tall fence. These posts are driven in the ground with the driver, so I mean, they will not move no matter what. They're way down here. And you can see again how far we've gone. We're just now coming up to this gate. This is a big gate. We can drive a tractor through it. Come up to this gate right here. We're not quite to the gate. We're about 15 foot away from it. Then we're gonna swing up and just kind of take a look. You see building three and four. Building three is 60 foot. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, 60 foot, and I think building four is 80 foot. I might be wrong, it might be 80 and 100. But anyway, two, two buildings up there, pretty good sized buildings. Can't remember, to be honest. You go to back to building three, and you see how far we are from where the deer are right now, all the way there to the edge of building number two. So uh, we've got really, really, really a big, big area right here with a cross fence so we can separate Prince Charming and uh, Snow White and maybe another doe or two that we might put in here with him and keep him away from those baby bucks because he would obviously kill them. And now let's just take a walk up here and, uh, and show you what, how far this goes up here. This is again a pretty good walk and this walk is further than coming from the end of the uh, current pen because uh, it goes all the way to the building. We've got the water tank rigged just exactly just exactly the way we had the other one rigged where it'll, it'll that one tank and we will run water <clears throat> from our water system in here. This water will not come out of the lake, it'll come from the water system. But we have water where this, uh, if we got deer on both sides of this, these, uh, this enclosure right here, both of them will be able to get water out of the same pen, so that's great. We come up here and the building acts as a fence on this east side. You can see we walk way up here and we get to the buildings and again it's just it's just a pretty good ways i'm going to get right up here at the edge of the building and show you again just exactly how far we are up here and what it is again you start looking back and that's what you see from all the way from over there the corner goes down all the way to that corner you can see that all the way down the hill <clears throat> to that corner and all the way up, you see where the deer are right now, and to the end of that other building that you can't see the other building right now, but you can see where that is over there where their current digs are. So they have got a really, really a lot of room. They've got plenty of room to run, plenty of room to play, to breed, and plenty of room for Snow White to raise another family. All right, we'll walk over there and take a look at that pen now, and take a look at it from that, that side. Okay, I'm gonna walk through this gate now, walk down to the main gate. <clears throat> this gate over here is a 14 footer at this end. And this particular partitioned off enclosure is not nearly as large as that other one where all the trees are. And the bad part about this one is we really don't have trees on this one. And uh, this is a food plot. This was Lucy's food plot that we built specifically for her. Come down here to this gate. You got a nice big 14 or 16 foot gate there so we can bring equipment into here and do whatever we want. We'll probably come in here and plant this in the springtime with a Moggy River Buckmaker food plot and probably just leave it alone without any animals at all on it. But now as you look back from this corner, you can just really see how large this enclosure is. Again, goes up to that building there and we can walk up there. Uh, that's uh, well over 100 feet up to that that building there goes all the way down through that open gate to that far corner and then from this corner you can see how far we are up there to where the albinos are located now i'm zoomed in there all the way about nine power to get up there where they are they are way way up there as you can see when we look down to that far corner doesn't look very far it is a long way down there that far corner. Enormous new digs for our albinos. So, I think they're gonna like it. I think they're gonna love it. And we'll get to be able to have it, uh, be able to have it planted. 
and let one side grow up pretty heavy and then shut that off, let the other side grow up pretty heavy. Okay, here we are at the uh, end of this pen right here. You can kind of look back and see exactly where we are. I mean, it is a big, 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 big pen we got here. A big, big, big pen. This is uh, really going to be a good one. Uh, we might uh, take some of the some of the does that we've got uh, in the other pen and uh, put in here, especially some of the younger ones, and put in here with Prince Charming and and uh, try to let him have a couple, two or three does that are just regular white-tailed does and not albinos, and maybe get some pie balls. We'd love to be able to turn some pie balls loose on the ranch. Those are very rare. There's some areas where they're going pretty good, but uh, we don't know when you have pie balls, if they get all the great instincts of a regular white-tailed deer, or if they give it some of the bad characteristics like eyesight from the, um, from, from the albinos. But obviously, if they got that white on them, they're gonna be a lot easier to see out in the woods. And so probably a lot easier for predators and hunters and such, but, but we'll see what happens on it. Uh, but I would like to put maybe one or two of our deer that we've got up in the pen uh, up there with Whitey and put them in here with uh, Prince Charming and see if we can get us some pie balls. And I think that would be really cool. And of course we have uh, Prince Charming and Snow White. Snow White's a pure albino. Prince Charming's a pure albino. So uh, we'll be getting babies from them uh, hopefully the next spring and uh, everything's gonna go good. So this is the new digs. This is the new digs for the albinos. I'm telling you what, I don't think there's any deer anywhere in the country got any better place to live than these guys and girls right here. Guys and girls, I sure do love you.